वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल प्रतिक एकेडमी के इन लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट कंस्ट्रक्शन वर्किंग पेल्टन व्हील टरबाइन इन दिस वीडियो वी विल फर्स्ट सी व्हाट आर द सम डिजाइन रिलेशनशिप फॉर पेल्टन व्हील टरबाइन सो द सिंपल रिलेशंस फर्स्ट इज एब्सोल्यूट वेलोसिटी v1 इट्स cv अंडर रूट 2gh cv इज velocity coefficient for nozzle u is phi s under root 2 gh where phi s is speed ratio in u1 u2 is equal to pi d n by 60 d is a rotor diameter n speed then there is one term called as jet ratio jet ratio is nothing but ratio of rotor diameter to jet diameter okay it is usually 12 then another relations for design is number of buckets uh, is equal to 15 plus 0.5 m it is jet ratio then number of jets are given by total discharge divided by discharge through single jet then discharge through single jet is given by pi by 4 d square that is jet area into v1 jet velocity and bucket dimensions these are the relationship for width length and thickness of bucket so these are the simple relations which are used while designing of pelton wheel turbine now while designing pelton wheel turbine we are we are not going for actual prototype because there are some limitations and we are going for first model so what is model listing we will see so model testing so this is nothing but just test on a model is a model listing okay now what is model listing test on model it's simple model listing then why to carry out this model listing because while designing a turbine we have made number of assumptions that is thing that is one directional flow then steady flow we are not considering boundary condition effect or flow breakdown so these are the various assumptions then due to these assumptions reliability of our results is not adequate so if design fails then as turbines are very large in size so there is a large uh, waste of time there is again waste of more money and waste of material to avoid that first we check performance under or performance on model in a lab if results are satisfactory then and then only we are going for prototype then how to create model what should be conditions for that model let's see then sorry these are there are some guidelines or principles which we have to follow while designing a model More, there are three principles one is geometrical similarity principle kinematic similarity principle and dynamic similarity principle geometric similarity implies shape must be similar okay that is dimensions of various parts for model and prototype should be have same ratio that is jet diameter for prototype model or rotor diameter for prototype and model or width of prototype or model this ratio should be constant and then next one is kinematic similarity this is related to velocity as velocity is vector quantity we have to consider both directions as well as magnitude of that velocity this similarity implies that values of velocities at different points it means jet velocities for model and prototype this ratio tangential velocity ratio or linear velocity ratio for model and prototype should have constant value then last one is a dynamic similarity it is simply related to forces it states that forces should be similar at various points 
it means tangential forces axial forces inertial forces should be have same ratio at various points so these are the principles we have to follow while designing a model then how to check our model is similar or not for that purpose we have model relationships let's see model relationships these are nothing but equations to check validity or similarity of a model with our prototype then there are three coefficients first is head coefficient next is flow coefficient and last one is oh sorry head coefficient discharge coefficient and power coefficient so let's start with power head coefficient we have equations for Peltonwheel turbine u is pi in by 60 here for model and prototype both dimension and speed are changing so u is proportional or depends upon both diameter and speed this is our first relation from speed ratio relation we get u is equal to speed ratio under root 2 gh okay this is second equation then u is proportional to root h from 1 and 2 we can write dn is proportional to root h that means d, d square n square is proportional to root h here that is h is proportional to d square n square now for replacing this proportional design we take a constant ch then this ch is equal to h upon n square d square this ch is nothing but our head coefficient and it should be same for prototype and model and the next is discharge coefficient for discharge coefficient we will start from discharge equation so is nothing but jet area into velocity it is equal to pi by 4 d square v1 we know that v1 is equal to cv under root 2 gh then v1 will be proportional to root h or head this is first second equation from last equation we know that dn proportional to root h so here root h root h that means v1 proportional to dn okay, this is our third equation now we have j ratio j ratio is nothing but ratio of rotor diameter to j diameter as j ratio is constant for model and prototype d it is rotor diameter proportional to j diameter now putting equation 4 and 3 in equation 1 and removing constants we get q is proportional to d square and d that is q proportional to d cube n so replacing this constant proportional to const proportional design we take constant as cd and q upon nd cube is equal to cd this is our discharge coefficient and it should be same for prototype and model then next constant is power coefficient let's see for power coefficient we will start from overall efficiency equation overall efficiency for turbine is shock power upon water power that means power is equal to power that means shock power is equal to overall efficiency into water power now power is equal to overall efficiency into rho q g h this is water power here overall efficiency density of water g are constant so p will depends upon only q and h and from last derivation we know that q proportional to nd cube h proportional to n square d square so p proportional to n cube there is to 5 here so replacing proportional design by constant we get p is equal to cp n cube d raised to 5 that is this cp is nothing but power coefficient and this coefficient should be same for prototype and model so these are the model relationships for turbine